Welcome to part two of creating a test in Huntron Workstation. In this case, we're going to be actually scanning and using the test we've created earlier. Here you see our test sequence created, and we have two components in this sequence, U1 and Q2. Q2 is actually a probe package with three pins. That means it's going to be hand probed with a pair of probes connected directly to our tracker. Here we have our red and black probes shown in the video image. If we scroll to the right, you'll see the connection type for each of the components. The IC, U1, is actually a scanner connection. What this means is we'll be using a dip clip, a standard dip clip, to attach to the device and scan through it. And then Q2 is set for probes, meaning we'll be using hand probes. Now we could scan each component individually just by selecting, selecting it and starting the scan. Or, preferably, what we want to do is run the whole sequence. So we'll select the Sequence tab, type in a serial number, and then we'll click the Start button. Now the sequence and board instructions are displayed, so we click the Scan button to continue. And here it's prompting us to go ahead and connect to component U1. Now we'll be using just a dip clip to attach to the component, so we'll clip onto that. And also we'll have a common lead attached to ground on the circuit board. This connection runs right up to the common jack on the tracker. So we'll attach that. And then click OK. Notice we're now getting the signatures displayed on the screen as it's scanning. Down in the status bar of the window in green you can see which pin and component and range is scanning at this time. Now it's ready to scan the component Q2. In the instructions it's listed on how we're going to scan it, pin 1, 2, and 3. So using the hand probes, pin number 1 is between the base and the emitter. So we'll attach that, click OK. And that's scanned. Now pin 2 is the base collector. We'll attach to that. Click OK. And then lastly, pin 3 is between the emitter collector. Typically a very high impedance signature. If you think a mistake was made during scanning, you can use this previous pin button to go back one pin and try again. Otherwise, just click OK and we'll view our test results. Now notice it says failed. This is because there are no stored signatures marked for comparison in the database. If you click the Troubleshoot button, you can see that the signatures displayed. Here are the signatures for Q2. Notice the open signatures for the emitter collector. That's normal. And then the signatures for U1. You can scroll vertically to go see those. And what we're going to do here is click Set Reference. Now that'll mark these signatures as our good signatures or the signatures to compare against when we scan subsequent tests. So again, we'll switch now again to the Scan tab. Let's redock this. And then click Start. Now we're going to run our scan again, but the difference will be this time it will compare against our stored reference signatures. So we'll clip onto U1, click OK, and again you see the signatures being displayed on the screen. When this is complete, we'll be prompted to scan Q2. The pin 1 combination for Q2 is between the base and emitter. So we use the hand probes to do that. Click OK. Next pin is based collector. Again, click OK. And then the last one, pin 3, is emitter collector. And then click OK. Again, this will be make a comparison to the stored signatures. And you notice it came up past. That's what we would have expected. So again, we can view the troubleshoot. You can undock it by clicking the title bar for that pane. And then if you double click a signature, you can see the green signature just underneath the red signature. And you see we have almost a perfect comparison. So those are all the steps used to scan and compare signatures in Huntron Workstation. Thank you for joining us.